case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1944, the Supreme Court of the United States heard the case of National Labor Relations Board v. Hearst Publications, Inc., which centered on the question of who can be classified as an employee under the law. The conflict began when publishers of Los Angeles newspapers refused to negotiate with a union representing newsboys who distribute their papers. The National Labor Relations Board, NLRB, argued that newsboys are employees under the National Labor Relations Act and ordered elections for the union to represent them. However, the Circuit Court of Appeals overturned this ruling, claiming that the term employee must be clarified under the Wagner Act. The NLRB appealed arguing that newsboys should be considered employees due to their regular work, reliance on earnings, and control by publishers. Eventually, the court reversed its decision, upholding the newsboy classification and approving the NLRB's collective bargaining units for LA newsboys, while excluding suburban newsboys. The case was then sent back for further legal proceedings aligned with the updated ruling, ultimately establishing that the NLRB's decision on employee classification should be accepted unless it is unreasonable. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.